Hello. Let's see if I can pick this one. It's a Ruko a Garant Plus. There it says on the key, plus. And the main difference with the other Garants is that instead of uh, finger pins, uh, there are sliders. Ten sliders. I'm using the wrong tensioner. Ten sliders. And they are very uh, thin, very close to each other. So I will be using my homemade tiny flag. Barrel pins on top, always fun, kidding, always struggling with those. Um, so well, let's just see how it goes. I do think that once you're used to navigating the sliders and even though they are very close to each other it's good to do um, I have to admit my sidebar bitting is a bit tame and of course, I'm using that homemade hook. Maybe that helps. But the most difficult part of this lock for me is um, the barrels and not the sliders. Girls, I'm always struggling deciding if a pin is set or not, and especially uh, with very high lifts. And there are three of those in this lock. Is this a pin or is this milling? This is a pin. Uh, milling. So, uh, warning. I'm trying to set the first pin as early as possible because it's hard to reach. I think it's set. Because of that high lift, it's, I just I find it hard to uh, test the pin state of that pin. I hope this won't take too long because my hands are getting cold. Uh, should have turned on a heater, but it's too noisy to my tastes. It's distracting when I pick. I don't like picking when there's a lot of noise because, well, I used to say uh, um, when I pick I don't use sound or at least I don't listen to clicks or something but uh, the main feedback I use is touch but that doesn't mean I don't pay attention to sound at all. Because sometimes it can give 
some good information about what's going on. I think the first pin is set, but what am I missing then? The fourth one. Maybe six, but don't want to push that too much. Mm -hmm. Let's check the sidebar real quick. just feels fine. Everything feels loose there. Six. It was six after all. Mm No, did I offset something?
That was number two. There we go. Two was holding me back. Oh. As you can see, it's picked. Let's close it. And got it. <coughs> Grab some stuff, put some other stuff to the side. All right. See if I can lower the camera a little bit. No, no, well, let's do it like this. Okay, um, first, unscrew the back. Mm -hmm. That's all one. Come on. Two. Mm -hmm. Shim. Better safe than sorry. Keep a finger on the sidebar. And let's get those out first. Top pins are all standard key pins. Where did I put my tweezers? Over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the key pins. Let's get the drivers out first. Uh, already removed the shim. <laughs> first driver. Second. Third. Oh no. I want to go too fast. And that's not smart. Get the rest from the back. Oops. OK. 
Okay. Let's help them a little bit. this so the usual housing with a groove for the sidebar mm -hmm. let's put that over here i want to show you the milling for the jeans real quick you can see that there see that too grooves on both sides that uh, grab the little uh, lip of the barrels the sidebar looks like oh looks like this did I lose a spring looks like it hmm. I have to try to find that ah, found it And now the sliders, as you can see, uh, I didn't have to move them a lot. The highest lift was the third one. Let's see how it works if I, if it works to get them out. Um, one at a time. There we go. That's one and two. Three and four. Let's use tweezers. Five and six. Let's go here for the wrist. Seven, eight, Ooh, that was ten, launching nine. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at the plug. That's where the sidebar goes. Okay, let's show the sidebar again real quick. This is what the sliders look like. As you can see, not really. Uh, I can show. Yeah, there you can see it. 
not really false gates, but there are serrations, and they do grab because of the 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 sidebar where it interacts with the sliders. It's very thin, so those serrations are pretty effective. Um, well, I think that's all there's to show. I'll show everything again. Sliders and pins. Thank you for watching again, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.